<sighs> I'm old. Today, the day this video is going out, is my birth. <laughs> yes. I'm 30. I hate it. I hate it. I, when I'm recording this video, I'm not 30. As of this video being out, I am officially 30. I've joined Josh and Kallux in the decrepit old age of 30. I've already started to feel pain in my hip. I hate it here. Now, I feel like 30 is one of those ages where, firstly, I know I'm old, okay? You don't need to... You can comment nice things below. But 30 is always the age that people set as like... I want to do this before I'm 30. I want to do this before I'm 30, you know? No one ever does it. Today, we're looking at things that I should have done by the time I'm 30. 30 things you must do before you turn 30. Number one... Turn one. Oh god, this is gonna don't tell me number two. Turn two. Seriously? This is actually Are you serious? Okay, well this one was shit. These Donnies are not 25. He's not 26. Am I actually just Am I actually like I got ID'd about five days ago for a Red Bull. Okay, this one isn't as stupid. 14 things that we should all do before turning 30. Splurge on something entirely unnecessary yet delightful for your home. I have a gold PS5. That's got to count. These are definitely unnecessary. That box costs like two pounds as well. I really should buy a proper one. Okay, I've done that. Spend an entire weekend doing absolutely nothing. I mean, everyone's done that, right? Yeah, you just sit and watch TV. Order an entire pizza just for yourself. 30-year-olds have like... Terrible, terrible lives. Everyone has done that that has had pizza. Turn down an event invitation right away because you just know you won't feel like going. That's me all the time. That is something you shouldn't do. That is a sign of being old. Learn to bake or cook one of your favorite things to eat. I mean, I love toast. I actually do love toast. Okay, this one I can't do. I am terrible at cooking. I can follow a recipe. Why does it taste of nothing? Yes. Never again. Okay, maybe I can't do that one. Let the dishes pile up for a week, but then go to town on them. I mean, this happened with JJ when I lived with him. It would be like completely clean. One of us would leave like a spoon and then the other one would be like cool i'm leaving my stuff there then and it would pile up and then yeah bowl gate happened find the one specific treat that you absolutely adore and stock up on it in your pantry and you know, i don't have a pantry i had this when i was a kid we had like a, a crisp bag that sounds weird we had a big bag and we just filled it with our favorite crisps and it would be like every now and then you just go in you have a bag of crisps that was my sweet treat it wasn't even sweet but you know what i mean experience a hangover so agonizing it makes you live with a new appreciation for life afterwards well i know what this one is that was bad like people kind of thought I did well in it or like I wasn't that bad, but it was the final drink because the camera's cut and then it was done for me. <laughs> we had a glass and in it was just, I think, five different alcohols. That was it. Harry didn't even drink it. Spend a whole day just being naked. I'm gonna have a hot take here. I don't like being naked. I think it's weird. I walk around in my pants. Cool. Being naked. Mm -mm. Aim for me. I have not spent a whole day naked. I will not spend a whole day naked. A whole day! 24 hours naked. Take the afternoon off work to go home and nap. Um, I mean, I, I didn't have a real uh, real job for long, so I didn't do it then, but I, I've, I've technically done it here. I've decided not to make videos and just had a nap. <laughs> that don't count, does it? Indulge in your guilty pleasure like bad rom-coms without apologizing or feeling bad for it. I love rom-coms. It's not a guilty pleasure if you don't feel bad about it. Save up money for something you've been wanting forever. I mean, a house. I wanted that big house with lots of land. We got it. Boom, bitch. Actually, no. Those shoes. Those shoes. Have fries for lunch if you want. Yeah, some of these are sad, man. Like, if you ain't done that by the time you're 30, you care too much about your diet. But what? Everyone's done that, right? Finally, have chocolate cake for dinner. That ain't my thing. Now, we have one that is actually a quiz. So, I'm going to tick these off. You guys need to let me know what you've done as well. Or just go on BuzzFeed and do it yourself and let me know in the comments. How many of these things have you done before turning 30? Have you kept a plant alive? That's fake. I have, though. I had a Venus flytrap for years. Got on a piercing. No. Got on a tattoo. I want to get a... I want to get like a... Like an XIX. JJ has it here. Ethan has it here. I don't know where to get it. And I don't want to copy them. I have matching tattoos. And I'm also scared of tattoos. That is the main factor. I don't know why I'm talking about where to get it. Started an important friendship after you were 20. Yes. The majority of my friendships now. I didn't know Harry, Viz, Elam. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of people. Adopted a pet. I've had the like where you've adopted like a, I don't know, some a baboon in Sweden or something. You know, one of those random things but i haven't adopted a pet we will be getting adults started college what what it, what does college count as i've done college college year 12 and 13 i did that i finished college graduate school i started graduate school that's uni i assume didn't finish graduate school i mean i finished it to my level moved out of your parents house but but done what a house but done we'll be in it soon become completely financially independent hell yeah started up a savings account bang become financially stable Ooh. bam Missed. Hell yeah! Got on a driver's license. 
Yes. Bought your own car. Yes. This is just a flex now. Um, I mean, I'm 30. Completed an internship. Oh, yeah, I've done an internship. Got on a steady job. YouTube, maybe not. But now, yes. Held a job in your field of interest. Pretty interested in YouTube. Opened a business. Yes. Bro, this is going really well. Yes, 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 yes. Opened up your heart. Oh. Yes. Had at least two good relationships that gave you good memories. Now, I'm going to be honest. I've had relationships that I wouldn't... I wouldn't really class them as proper relationships. Tyler is my first real proper relationship. I I'm not going to tick that because I wouldn't say two. And it's at least two as well. Gotten into a steady relationship. Sure. Got married. So close. We're so close. Gotten engaged. Where's the Where's engaged? Had kids. No. Started saving money for the trip of your dreams. Yes. Tokyo or the Maldives. Traveled a few times in your own country. Yes. It's not hard here. Traveled a few times abroad. Yes. Started learning a new... See, I've, I, I, I have started learning a new language. I learned Spanish in poco. And I started learning sign language for like six months. I'll take it. I'm going I'm to I'm tick that. I'm going to tick that. Gotten to the point where you can speak fluently more than no. Maintained good health. I would like to think I'm in good health. I might be built like a stick, but I think I have good health. I don't drink excessively. <laughs> <laughs> You're gone. I don't smoke. I eat well. All right, last bite of the entire pizza. I think, I think I'm in good health. Become emotionally stable. I think I'm at a good point where I'd say I'm emotionally stable. Obviously, everyone has their bad days, but I'd like to think now pretty stable. Show me my results. 24 out of 33. More than 92. Whether or not you're under 30, you've already gotten a shit ton done. That's awesome. Now go out and celebrate your sweet adult self. Feeling proud of myself now, you know. Anyone who is nearly 30, don't do this if you're like 15. Just weird. Anyone who is like 25 plus, it's not going to be that many. I don't know. Do it and let me know. You know what? Do it at any age. And then you'll realize what you need to do by the time you're 30. Now I'm going to be honest. I am not a birthday person. I don't like going out and celebrating. I'll go for a meal. That is, that is what I'm doing. But this... Is 19 ways to celebrate it properly. If a meal isn't on here, then I haven't celebrated properly. Go on your dream vacation. It's literally the best time to do it. You're way more financial stable than you were. I mean, I do want to do this. 2023, I think, is gonna be my year of like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna become an adult. Still gonna make videos, still gonna do all the sidemen stuff, but I feel like I'm gonna use that year. I'm gonna have a house, I'm gonna have a dog, I'm gonna get married, I'm gonna go traveling. Dog and traveling probably don't make sense together but we'll figure it out sign up for a class painting sculpture kick. i really want to figure out something that i like i was talking to one of the other side men and we were talking about things that we do like oh you know harry plays table tennis for example i had nothing i was like oh i make videos i had nothing i need to figure out what i want to do playing volleyball playing basketball something start saving up even if it's just a little bit wait wait what here are 19 ways to celebrate it start saving up that don't make sense adopt a pet soon in the house i'm gonna have a doggy redecorate your space this will look completely different my room's gonna be sick try to be on your phone less this is something i really want to do calyx went on holiday and he turned his phone off for five days and he loved it i think you become a lot more sociable when you're not on your phone if anyone has any tips let me know as well about not using your phone because i don't want to go full ed sheeran and just reply on emails get out in nature more 100 i mean when i have a dog i'll be going for walks every day make actual plans in advance with your friends i mean when you live out in the sticks where i'm gonna live you're gonna have to make actual plans because i can't just go oh you're free today learn to cook your favorite dish at home we already explained this. never again start really paying attention to your eating habits no Pam yourself i need spa days plan a cross-country road trip no fuck that find an exercise routine that you like that is one thing i need to do that's what i'm talking about might take up boxing and just not fight perfect your new grown-up sense of style i'd say i'm wearing i'm wearing a football shirt and some fucking basketball shorts right now <laughs> i ain't changing if you're single nope thoroughly enjoy your sex life nope give time to a worthy cause i'm trying to get more involved with m70 if you don't know about that it's a charity me and my brother started where we basically send uh, certain schools on school trip. That'll all come soon. Finish anything you left unfinished in your 20s. And like what? Enjoy this year. You deserve it. Hell yeah, I do. I deserve this. I've been on this planet for 30 years. I deserve to enjoy this year. You know what? You all deserve to enjoy this year. Do you know what? That was a good note. Thank you all for watching. Sorry that this was probably a shit video. I don't know. But I appreciate you all sticking with me for 30 years, even though I haven't been doing it that long. Thank you all very much. Uh, I hope you have a great day. I mean, I'm still going to carry on posting till I'm 40. At least. So, maybe not. Who knows? We'll see. Peace.